Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley Lanise. I share videos that are on motivation and spirituality, blending the two together so you can get the best benefit out of it. This week's video is on my six tips on how to increase your positivity and happiness. Next week, I am going to share a part two. And the reason why is because I had so many tips that I wanted to give you guys a thorough explanation of. So I decided to divide this up into two videos. And if you guys request more, I could make this in an entire series. Let's get started. Stick around to the end of this video where I share my final tip on how healing yourself can create long-term happiness. Although it might not always seem like it, I am going to really encourage you guys to stick with that healing process because in the long run, you will have this abundance of happiness that will stay with you for years to come. Tip number one, comes from the spiritual community, which is the law of assumption. This concept means assume the wish fulfilled. If you want to be happy or positive, the first thing you need to do is realize that you deserve it. A lot of us beat ourselves up about if we should or if we deserve to be happy. And I am here to tell you in this Increase Your Happiness video that you deserve happiness, you deserve positive energy, you do not deserve to continuously live in a state of anxiety anxiety, fear, depression, sadness, any of that. Happiness and positivity is your birthright. And sometimes we need to hear it from other people. So the universe is speaking through me, congratulating you for even watching this video because you're already increasing your happiness by seeking it out. We find what we seek. And so the act of watching videos like these, the act of having the desire to increase your positivity shows that you deserve it and you were born deserving it. So the law of assumption states that you should assume the wish fulfilled. You already deserve happiness and positive energy. It is your internal alignment and your internal state that your body wants you to stay at. Tip number two is a writing activity, which is create a vantage point expansion list. You guys know I love tangible techniques that you can actually implement and the vantage point expansion list simply goes as follows. You write down 10 areas or more that you want to focus on and expand upon. You then take that yearly calendar that I showed you in my goal setting video that I will link down below. So go watch that after you've watched all of this and you take 10 weeks and you take those 10 things you wanted to expand upon and each week you set a goal that you watch three YouTube videos on those 10 things you wanna expand upon. You set goals for yourself using my sticky note method and you take little sticky notes where you write down, let's say one of your goals is to learn meditation. So you make three sticky notes where it says, search a meditational video, do meditation, learn stillness. If you're having trouble deciding what to search, you can take that 10 vantage point list and ask yourself questions. Why do I wanna look this up? What do I wanna learn about this topic? And when you do that, your subconscious will reveal to you what it is that you are actually trying to get at and accomplish in that task. Tip number three is a technique called fear setting. Before I explain fear setting, what I want you to know is that when we don't have happiness or positivity in our life, it's normally because we are thinking of how something could go wrong. These things in our life are blocking us from being the most positive that we could be because we're so worried about it. Maybe we are taking a risk that is very costly. So when that happens, think of the worst case scenario. Now, 
you'd be like, wait, how is that going to increase my positive energy? Well, when you fear set, what you do is you create this huge list of how everything could go absolutely wrong. Take what you're going through and think of the absolute worst case scenario. That is what fear setting does. And Gary V actually has a technique. He doesn't call it fear setting, but what he does to increase positivity in his life is similar. He wakes up every morning and he imagines that those closest to him die. And although that seems very morbid, actually what happens is once you've done this exercise in a grounded state where you feel safe, you come to the conclusion that your life really isn't as bad as you think it is. When you think about everything you could lose in a scenario, then one, you're prepared for that. And two, you realize you're not there. You were at this moment. This moment is not that moment where the worst thing could possibly happen to you. And you start to increase that positivity because you feel so much appreciation for the moment that you actually do exist in. And that thought, leads me to tip number four, which is expect nothing and appreciate everything. Gary V talks about this as well. And he says, have zero expectations. The best way to increase your positive energy and happiness is to have no expectations. This took me a long time to fully understand because we live in a society that teaches us that we do something and we get something in return. That is a manipulation tactic. Do things from the goodness of your heart. If you decide to go talk to somebody because you think that maybe somewhere down the line they will buy your product, then you are setting yourself up for disappointment. You should just talk to that person because you want to build a bond with that person having no expectations, but I just want to make their day better. I want to form a connection. It all boils down to the desire of I just want to interact with this human being. Do not think of I want to get something from them because people can feel that energy. So if that is what you want, it is in your best benefit to actually not see it that way because people are more likely to help you later on down the line if they feel that genuine energy that you just want to interact with them but having no expectations of how that interaction is going to go. And the reason why expecting nothing increases your happiness and positive energy is because when you expect nothing, you can't be let down. You can't be disappointed because they didn't do the thing that you wanted them to do. You are in control of your happiness. When you expect something from someone else, you put that control into their hands. So in order not to be vulnerable and have your happiness in the hands of someone else, do not expect things from other people. And in return, your happiness and positivity will increase by default because then people are actually going to want to do more things for you because they feel that genuine and authentic energy radiating from your heart. Be sure to watch next week's video because my first tip will expand upon this and how it is so vital to put your happiness in the act of doing something and not the outcome. That leads me to tip number five, which is place your happiness in the act of doing something and not the result. I talked about this in my process video and I will link that down below. Place your happiness in the moment of doing something, not the outcome. Say you have this sports team that you love so much and you decide that your happiness is going to be predicated on if they win or lose. What happens is you become vulnerable because you can't control if your team is going to win or lose. So if you are watching the game and predicating your happiness on the outcome, you're doing it wrong because your happiness is now stuck in the moment of they have to win or I 
can't be happy. That's dangerous because you can't control if your team's going to win. All you can do is be there for your team and you should want to be there for your team during the moments that they're doing bad. A good fan is there through the thick and thin of it. A good fan is the foundational support for that team. When your team loses, it's a learning experience and not just for the team members, but also for the fans. It's teaching you emotional control. And in order to increase your happiness, instead, before you even watch the game, set the intention and decide that you will be happy no matter the outcome. You will be happy because you are watching the team that you love play. And it's gonna be hard at first, especially if you do it for something like sports and your natural reaction is to beat yourself up and become miserable after the game if they lose. But what you're doing is you're creating negative energy. When you're all bent out of shape that your team lost, everyone around you can feel that. And instead, put your happiness on what you can control. You see this a lot in romantic relationships. People will place their happiness in the outcome. If I get the girl, I'll be happy. If I don't get the girl, I won't be happy. Instead, place that happiness in the act of going for the person that you want. Be proud of yourself for the fact that you did it, not if the person said yes or no to dating you, you might have dodged a bullet. The only thing you can control is what you do, not anything outside of you. So your happiness needs to be predicated on the things that you can control. This decreases your vulnerability to other people controlling your happiness. Tip number six is Heal your internal wounds. Embark on a journey where you decide to watch more videos like these, where you decide to heal your inner trauma, heal your shadows, get to know your dark side, look things up that have to do with trauma healing and with adversity healing because we live in a society that is smogged with trauma. And whether we like it or not, we all have something inside that we have to deal with. And this is one of those long-term tips, but the advice that I wanna give you with this point is sometimes it's gotta get worse before it gets better. There are rainbows after storms for a reason because Everything is a yin and yang process. Diamonds are created by massive amounts of pressure. Your happiness is on its way. You might have to battle a bunch of demons and heal inner wounds, but that makes it all the more richer and fulfilling. So if you are watching this video because you don't have happiness, you don't have positive energy because something in your life that you haven't addressed or are struggling to address is boggling you down. Know that if you embark on a journey of diving in to those traumas and exploring it, you should give yourself a pat on the back because you're embarking on a journey that will increase your positive energy. After my car accident in 2017, I decided to heal my mentality. I realized that the car accident was a series of steps and the route that it led back to was the fact that I wasn't focusing on my mental health. And I would wake up every single day with massive anxiety because I wasn't addressing certain things inside of my mind. I thought, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine, whatever. But that's not the mindset you should have because over time that stuff builds. And this is exactly why my next week's video is going to be so vital for you to watch as a follow-up because I really dive more into this tip and talk about how you shouldn't suppress things. Happiness is not about suppressing. It's about addressing things. It's about going to the root cause and cleaning off those roots and adding new nutrients to fill your life with. And what I want you to know is it will get better. Think about it like a dirty pond that you really wanna clean. You sometimes have to stir the pond and all of that will rise to the surface and it'll feel like you are so deep in the muck and drowning 
in sadness and you don't even know how you're gonna get back to the light of happiness. But by assuming the wish fulfilled, like I talked about in point number one, know that you deserve happiness, you will be guided there. And if you guys have any questions about what I mean by this and want me to make a series on how to heal yourself, please let me know in the comments below. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. You are an absolute rock star and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.